Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the support reactions. In this lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions for this beam. This beam has a total length of 10 meter, while the 6 meter has no load. And there is a uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter over the length of 4 meter. So we have to find out their support reactions and also to verify their support reactions at the last. That either we find out correctly the support reactions or not. So let's suppose this is point A and this is point B. And let's suppose their reaction acting R in upper direction. This is RA and this is RB. There is no horizontal load acting on this beam, that's why we don't show any horizontal reaction of this hinge support. The hinge support has the ability to take the horizontal load, but as there is no horizontal load on this beam, that's why we take only the vertical load into consideration. So we can find out the support reaction in just two steps. The first step is, let's suppose the summation of movement at any point equal to zero. Let's suppose that it is at point B equal to zero. For to find out the support reactions, we can use three equilibrium equation. Either this equilibrium equation, or summation of vertical force is equal to zero, or summation of horizontal force is equal to zero. We can use these three equation in order to find out the support reactions. But if there is no horizontal load involved, so we cannot use this equation. Also, there are two unknown to us. So, we can also not use this equation. This equation can be used when we have only one unknown. So, for two unknowns, we can use this equation. So, we have two unknowns, so now we can use this equation. So, this is the first step that we use the summation of moment at point B is equal to zero. Now, let's consider the that the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So, Ra will let's suppose this force is acting in upper direction so it will act here like in this way it will create clockwise moment about point B so it will be RA force into the moment arm the moment arm will be the distance from this RA up to the point B which is 6 meter now also there is load of 5 kN per meter acting in downward direction so it will be and this force is also creating the clockwise moment about point B so it will be plus 5 into 4 because this load is distributed over the length of 4 meter multiplying with the moment arm the moment arm for this distributed load will be the it will act at this point as this is a uniformly distributed load so it will act at the center and the moment arm will be this half of this 4 so it will be 2 meter so the moment arm for this load will be 2 so summation of all the moment about point B is equal to zero. Now we can simply shift this value to the right side. So RA, 6RA is equal to the minus 14. Now RA, if we divide this by 6, so we get minus 6.67 kN. So we find out the support reactions of RA is minus 6.67. It is a negative value because it shows that RA is not acting in upper direction, but this RA is now, we will change the sign of RA and it will act now in downward direction, RA. So it will be minus, this will be 6.67 kN. Now, we find out the one support reactions RA, which is 6.67 kN. Similarly, to find out the RB, now we have only one unknown in this case, so we can use this equation which is the summation of vertical force is equal to zero. So this will be the second step and where, where the summation of all the vertical forces are equal to zero. Let's suppose the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. Now the upward force is RB, downward force is RA, so it is negative, also this force is also acting downward, so it is minus 5 multiplied with the 4, because this load is distributed over the length of 4 meter, so summation of all vertical forces are equal to 0, so RA is known to us, so RB, if we shift this into the right side, so it will be RA 
plus 20, it means that the Rb is equal to the Ra6 minus 6.67 kilonewton. But we know that it is taken in the downward direction. So in this case, it will be 6.67 plus 20. Because this negative shows that it is in downward direction. So we make it downward. Now, when we assume that this load is in downward direction, so we don't need to consider this value is negative. That's why I took it as positive. So it comes out to be 26.67 kilonewton. So this is the support reactions Rb is 26.6 kilonewton. Now to verify that either our calculation is correct or not, let's suppose to verify so we, let's suppose the, uh, that all the vertical forces are equal to zero and this force and the upward forces are taken as positive while the downward forces are taken as negative. So upward force is 26.67 and downward forces are 5 minus 5 multiplied with the 4 because it is distributed over the distance of 4 and minus Ra which is 6.67 so all the forces are equal to 0, so 26.67 minus 20 minus 6.67 equal to 0, so it means 26.67 minus 26.67 equal to 0, so it will cancel, so 0 equal to 0. So it means we find out our support reactions in a correct way, because all the forces are equal to 0. The equilibrium of all forces are equal to zero, so we find out our beam reactions correctly. Hope you guys understand, and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.